Today, I'm going to take a walk up near Horsham. It's a lovely day out there and the weather proves to be good, so I'm dropping everything and uh, going to take the van up for a walk. I've got my camera, I've got my tripod, and for the travelling shots, I've got my GoPro. And on the computer, which I have sent a copy to my phone, I've got my map and my route. So, before I go, there's one more thing I need to do. I made a chilli con carne the other day and I did made an extra portion which I put in the freezer. So, for my dinner this evening, I'm going to take that out and have it when I come back. Well, it's getting on for nine o'clock and I want to get out. Now, it's a little bit chilly, so I'm going to put on my trusty Harris tweed jacket there. I think that will be enough to keep me warm. Um, I've got a hat in the van, so that's OK. So what are we waiting for? Let's get going. Come on. Well, I'm out and I've got here going over, I think, what's called Great Horsham Hill, judging by a sign I just saw on a, on a gate. And looking back behind me, just make out the, I guess, the conurbation of Horsham. And I'm going past some beautiful uh, autumn colours, which is actually, in this light, is something that I'm desperate to see. We've, uh, we've had such a lot of just miserable, grey, dull, damp weather. Not, not warm, not cold. The sun is blazing. I'm feeling now I'm overdressed and too hot. Glad I didn't wear the hat in the end. I will, I will be wearing that on these um, colder mornings. But it's just nice to get out, having not been out and having done some domestic videos recently, to get out and do some actual country walking. So let's enjoy it while we can. On my left, you can't really see it terribly well, but there's a sunken track running parallel uh, to the, the path I'm on at the moment. Now, I say it's a sunken track, it may just be a delineation between one landowner's property and another, but it seems to go right across on the south side of Great Horsham Hill, if that's what it is. Um, oh, we might be able to see a bit more of it just down here. Oh, if I can get through. And I'm just dropped down into it. It's all around me, going that way and, and the other way. And the thing about this is, is it reminded me of, um, I'm quite near to Den Park and Den Park House. And when I was at school in Horsham, we used to clamber around the hills here. Now, I don't know if this is it, or there's another one nearer to Den Park, but um, we used to call one of these uh, old trackways or these, delineation things where they dug out the bank um, the elephant trap our theory was that an elephant would get into it and would never be able to get out I don't think that's actually um, true that it's I don't I've never heard anyone else call it that so if I could find it one day it would be lovely but yeah it just reminded me because of the proximity to Dem Park of that little story my mate Peter Richardson and I would scramble about in it at weekends many years ago now I've got to get back out
Looks like I've come across Chessworth Farm here. It says Wetland, an evolving story. I've I've heard of the place, but I've never actually been here before. It's one of those places I've often wanted to come and have a look at with, you know, the camera and take photographs. And well, this is just on my walk. I'll have to come back here and do a bit more of a special thing on it. But fascinating to see it, really. I love these boardwalks over the wetlands where you can get an idea of, you know, the, the species and uh, the various creatures. Whether you see them or not is a different thing, uh, but it's lovely to, to just sort of hover above, I suppose, on these slightly raised platforms and have a little gander. Now, I think to my left here is part of um, the River Arran if not the River Arran, I can hear, I can hear the water at um, a tiny little waterfall just to my left. And there's a, a bit of a viewing platform here, so... The wood is a little bit wet and damp at the moment, so uh, I'm not going to sit down on it, but... Um, you can imagine coming down here with your sandwiches and just uh, taking in the atmosphere. How beautiful! Isn't that an amazing sound? Just very tranquil, the, the falling of water. I love it. What an amazing little spot, little haven that I hadn't intended to see. It's marked on the map, but I'd not really made the right interpretation. And I, I, that's what I like about the walks in the countryside, particularly here in England, is you just get these little surprises that, that speak to the soul. I'm walking up the side, I think it must be called Den Hill. And the Den Park estate that I mentioned before, Den House, this great Georgian house at one time, I think has now been converted into luxury flats, uh, is on the other side. And I may, on this walk, go past it and see possibly some of it, I don't know. This is absolutely splendid. What a beautiful walk. I came out this morning not actually knowing, like so many of my walks, what was going to be involved and what I might see. And as I said before, so often are you surprised by the beauty of it. This hill is surrounded by this metal fence Estate fencing, I believe it's called. This stuff here. Uh, there are walks across there. I'm going to go a bit south, and then I think there should be a path that will weave me up on top of the hill, and I ought to be able to see a little bit further above and uh, look back on Horsham. At least that's what a, a lovely couple who I bumped into a few minutes ago told me. 
Uh, so, let's see if they're right. I have walked around the, I suppose, the eastern side of Den Hill and Den Park now, as far as I can ascertain. Oh, although the sun is over there, I, it's probably now on the southern side, I guess. Beautiful colours of autumn all around me. And then this particular stretch of woodland here, as I've gone up this very gentle rise, has been almost devoid of anybody, a couple of cyclists I've seen and, a, and one dog walker, that's it. It's been absolutely magic and it's pretty silent apart from the, the natural sounds of nature. It, it, it is lovely. A few of the trees here, old coppices, old uh, hazel coppices I think. But it is, it is very majestic. So I'm now on the backward journey, but I'm going to cut across the hill, first of all, to see if I can get that view that I've been looking for. And if I see any sense of the elephant trap, I will look for that too. <laughs> this is a remarkable tree I'm by here, this hollow tree. Fascinating. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to see much of the house. In fact, the house, you only see the side profile. And um, so I've, I've gone north of the house there. It's just a bit behind me, the big old house. But there are some of the house buildings around it as well. Looks like there's some scaffold up as, as well. So it's having a bit of renovation. It's um, a lot more impressive from the front, as you can probably imagine. And it's weird, actually, it brought back a memory there that when I was at primary school, I used to know a, a kid, I went to Aronside Primary School, oh golly, it would have been in the late 60s then, and I used to know a, a chap called Thomas Desentcois, a French name, and he lived in the lodge right at the end there. I've often gone past it. As I remember, he had um, guinea pigs. We used to look at the guinea pigs and I would go round for, for tea. I don't think I ever had a sleepover. Um, but we used to go over for tea quite a lot. So Thomas Descent Choir, if you're watching, it'd be lovely to hear from you and find out what you got up to in your life. Golly, that was a long time ago. But yeah, this is uh, Den Park now that I'm walking across. Great uh, park, and I'm hoping that we get through the trees that are just coming up ahead of me and maybe get a view to finish the video here, or at least f finish this part of the walk. I've just come through a gate here and I'm now on the north side of the hill and there's the view. And actually, I think this is where we used to do cross country, if I've got that right. I used to think that we charged down this hill, dreadful, at the end of our long, arduous cross country run during the school PE sessions. We would run around and then through Den Park, I do seem to remember, and then charge down the hill. And I think the elephant trap is somewhere to this side, to the north of the hill. I'm gonna to have to come back another day and go in search of it to see if I can find it. Maybe there is some indications on old maps. But anyway, this is, this is the view. See if I can get anything better. Well, I'm back home now. It was a lovely walk, actually. It was really nice. And um, 
I've looked at the rushes already and edited the first half and it was great to get up to the top there and just catch that view across Horsham. Um, and I'll have, I need to go back really and explore more of that area. I've neglected Horsham uh, for a long time. I did some videos in Horsham when I very first started and, and then didn't come back. Got the SE going, it's, it's up there warming up. But my dinner, I think, is a little bit frozen still. It needs heating up, so I'm not ready to eat it yet. So, have a look at this. It's amazing. I mean, it, it is thawing out a bit. It's still a little solid, so I just need to break it up a bit. I shall leave it to rest on the Essie. Uh, and, and then in time, it will be ready. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go and sort my food out for today. I hope you've enjoyed today's little ramble. I'm, as I say, I'm going to go back and explore more of that. And if I can find that elephant trap, that would be great. Till next time, don't forget to follow, like, subscribe, uh, give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. If you want to support the channel, go to baldexplorer.com and you'll find ways that you can help me put diesel in the car, uh, in the van, it is a van, and I'll carry on making these videos. Until next time, bye-bye, cheers.